Hi, I'm James Boyce, Executive Director of the Ontario Tennis Association. This is an exciting time for tennis in Ontario. We've adopted a new systematic approach to maximize potential and increase enjoyment of participants and athletes in our sport. An LTAD is a long-term athletic development plan, and the purpose on a long-term athletic development plan is a systematic method of assessing and projecting development for players relative to their age, their skill levels, and their abilities. Ready, go! It's important for players to develop their fundamental movement and motor skills because what they're working on is what we call physical literacies. Physical literacies are coordinated movements, coordinated abilities across all different age groups. The reason why we want to make sure we're constantly working on it is because players will change as they grow and as they develop. A 12-year-old player who's really coordinated may all of a sudden have a growth spurt between 13 and 14, lose their coordination, and they're going to regain it hopefully around 14 or 15. So if we can make sure they have the ability to hop, skip, jump, throw, catch, consistently across those growth plates and those growth time frames, then we have a whole athlete by the time they're still moving forward. When you combine the long-term athlete development model with progressive tennis, it's excellent because now coaches have specific competencies between mental, physical, tactical, and technical that they can now address. So for the first stage of active start, very important at that age, the competencies can be something around the age of four to five where they can practice eye-hand coordination, they can practice some balance, very important skill to develop at that age. And then as the kid moves to the fundamental stage, the next set of competencies is introduced. So it's very easy to work with a younger kid on, say, coordination and balance, and as we get older, those competencies become tougher to develop. The age groups that Progressive Tennis works with is between the ages of 5 to 12, and all the equipment that we're using is, is, is size appropriate for children, so we're using nets that we build, we're using rackets that are size appropriate for, um, for kids of, of this age, and we're also using balls that are decompressed. The OTA promotes progressive tennis with two separate circuit stops. The first stop being the Rogers Rookie Tour, which focuses on introductory tournament play for club competitors. Uh, the second stop would be the uh, Future Stars Under 9, Under 10, which focuses on advanced competitors trying to meet the guidelines of the LTAD. The LTAD covers the four aspects of a player, the physical, psychological, technical and tactical, and outlines the competencies for each of those stages. As well, it provides very clear guidelines both for competition and for training for each stage of their development. Those kids involved in competitive tennis, the Coach 2 course takes care of those kids that are in the fundamental and developing stages, where the coach three then goes on to players in the consolidating stage, and then beyond that the coach four and five goes on to the next stages. So right now the LTAD is totally integrated within the certification program. It's very important that when you develop them from a younger age that you're developing the whole complete athlete, and that's why playing multiple sports is good, and also what's very important is that the ratio of how much tennis you should actually play. Uh, at a certain age is very important. So when the kid is, say, four, five, six years old, their tennis will be a lot less than when they get to be 10, 11, 12. So now with the multi-sport training, the various other activities, it develops the whole athlete, not just the tennis player. And as we know, the better athlete you are, the better tennis player you can become as the game has grown and become more and more athletic. There is no more important tool that I would say that's important for a coach to be aware of than the LTAD. When a, a coach works hand in hand with the long-term athlete development model and progressive tennis, they have a much more higher success rate of developing a junior to the next level. Together, let's raise the net. For more information, please visit our website, raisethenet.ca.